Hello everybody and welcome to this game maker tutorial. In this video I'm going to show you how to do collision detection. So let's dive into it. Game maker Studio 2, we make a new project, a new blank one. We choose GML and give it a name, doesn't matter, and let's go. First, we're going to make two sprites. Uh, right click here on the right side and create a uh, sprite. And we give it the name S for sprite and uh, green. Edit the image, pick a green color and fill like this we have a green sprite and we also want to make a blue sprite so again right click on sprites create and sprite give it a name sprite blue edit image pick a blue color fill it and we have a green and a blue sprite so let's close that and uh, I think we can close here too. Um, now we need to create some objects. So right click on object, create an object. So we call this uh, object blue first and add the blue sprite. Yeah, that's all we need for the blue object. And um, let's make a green object. Create object and let's call this O for object and uh, green. And give it the sprite, the green sprite. And let's uh, drag it to the screen uh, here, room, and open that little one and go to room. And let's drag the blue sprite as the first one and the green one as the second one. Uh, and uh, let's go back to the green object and do some coding. In the create event, I just want to make a Uh, variable for uh, storing uh, some info. So I just make a empty one. And also we want to draw the information to the screen. So add a draw event. And the way uh, GameEQ Studio works is that uh, as soon as you have a draw event on your object, it will not draw the sprite uh, to the screen. So to make it draw the sprite, uh, use uh, draw and uh, self. And also we want to draw the text. Uh, up in the left corner, so let's just say 10 times 10 or 10, 10, and x and y, 10, 10, and uh, the string. Uh, we need to tell GameMaker that uh, we're going to pass in a string, so or, or else we will get an error uh, string info. So, like this. Um, now we're going to add the step event where all the action is happening. First of all, I want to place the, uh, the green sprite on the mouse position. So X equals mouse X and same with Y. Uh, 
Um, let's just run the test so we know everything is working. Here you can see um, nothing, no information yet. And also you can see the mouse pound pointer is not in the center. So to fix that, uh, go back to the sprite. And up here in the top right corner, you can choose the uh, point, the origin uh, of the object. So I place it on the center, middle center here. Yeah, and also if you want to change the collision mask, you can do it in here on the sprite. Change it to manual and you can change it here if you want to change the collision mask. But for now, let's just say set it to automatic and it will fill the whole sprite. And go back to the green object. And we're going to do some more. Uh, now we're going to start the collision testing. So we want to do an if. And the first uh, collision testing command I want to show you is uh, position meeting. And we're going to uh, tell it the position we want to test at, X and Y. And with what? Uh, object uh, blue. So, if you have a collision, we want to give some information. So, just set the string info to cool just for testing. And let's try. Sorry. And now you can see when I move the green one over the blue one, uh, as you can see, we don't get a collision test until the mouse enter uh, the blue one. Uh, the reason for that is uh, the position meeting is only testing at the point X and Y. And, uh, but if you want to do uh, a box test or a collision mask, we can use the command uh, place meeting at the X and Y position and with the object blue. So if you have a collision, string info, mm, mask, oh yeah. let's do a mask collision. Or so let's try again. And the difference now should be that the uh, as soon as uh, the two collision masks are colliding, we should have a result. As you can see, as soon as uh, this one entered, we got the collision mask collision. And just for the sake of it, let's say set string info to nothing. Yeah. Uh, usually, when you do a collision test, you want to know what object you are uh, colliding with. Uh, and also, uh, you need to store uh, the object. So, let's make a variable for that. Uh, and we call it instance, because we're testing for what instance. And we're going to do... Um, instance uh, instant place collision and same again x and y and what object 
le so uh, if you have a collection up here we store the object in the variable inst and we can uh, set, uh, just to show what object we are colliding with with we can set string info to be inst and uh, let's just say id it's the it's the id of the object so let's try again And also, uh, now we get the information from the object, but if you want to do something uh, to the object, uh, I know what the problem is. Uh, we need to tell GameMaker that we want the string value. So, like this, let's try again. Save and play. Or actually, you don't need to save. And as you can see up in the left corner, we are colliding with the object with the ID of uh, 100,000. Or actually, it's the first object. And let's do something to the object. Uh, the easiest way uh, is to tell Game Maker that we want to do uh, the the next code or uh, directly on the object. So we can say with inst uh, and for now let's just uh, destroy the object with instance destroy like this and let's try and as soon as I hit the object now the object should be destroyed and it's gone. So that's it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked it and uh, will give me a subscribe for more videos like this. And uh, have a good day. Bye bye.